name is Mark Stanford. I'm a level three course tutor and lecturer here at Colchester Institute in the computing department. As part of the how to series, I'm gonna be showing you how to build your own ethernet patch cables. Main reason we do this is very much for server room architecture because a lot of patching of servers and switches inside server rooms don't need large distance ethernet cables. This is only one small part of the courses that we deliver here at Colchester Institute in the computing department. You'll do things from designing, developing, and programming your own computer games and websites, all the way through to designing, installing, and maintaining your own business size networks and securing those with high level security to stop cyber criminals. So let's get to building a cable. So we've moved over to a different facing camera. So at the moment I've got my nice little short length of category six ethernet cable, uh, sometimes called twisted pair. And I'll show you why it's called twisted pair in a second. I've also got myself a RJ45 crimping tool. So you can get these off eBay, bits and pieces like that. I've also got myself some RJ45 connections, blank ones, uh, that we're going to use to actually make the cable connections at the end of the cable. So it can plug into network ports and things like that. I have a little wire cutter, so I can cut the sheathing off the cables and bits and pieces like that. I do have a diagram that tells me how to do it, and I'll go into more detail about this in a second. So it tells me the order that the cables will go in. And I do also have a cable tester, so it let me test the cable to make sure that it all works. So that'll be the sort of the acid test to make sure I built the cable correctly. So before we start, um, the diagram here is basically explaining um, that this is called a straight through cable. So this is normally used, what we're gonna make, is used to connect different kinds of devices together. So a PC to a switch, or a switch to a router, things like that. Only other type of cable is something called a crossover cable, which is a different diagram. That basically is used to connect servers to servers, or switches to switches, or PCs to PCs. So it's a slightly different cable layout, depending on the two. So I'm gonna keep that there, so we can use that. Now, when you cut your cable, it will just be two sort of dead ends, so there'll be nothing on there. Let's move some of this stuff away so it can focus on it. So as you can see at the ends, you have just got the cables poking out. So first things first, we need to cut a little bit of that uh, white bit off, because we need to be able to get to the cables themselves. So this is quite a nice one, because it just goes round. And then hopefully, it will slide off. Now. These type of cables are called twisted pairs, because as you can see, all the cables are in a twisted color-coded pair. So you've got a green and green and white, orange, orange and white, blue, blue and white, and brown, brown and white. Now at the moment, this has got this big, really annoying piece of um, strengthening built into the middle of this cable. So I'm gonna quickly do is just cut that bit off. I'll get the cutters and get that rid of that bit there. There we go, so that's that bit gone. So now I've got my twisted pair cables. Now what I need to do is slowly and carefully just straighten those out. I sped that section up. So now what you'll have, you'll have your untwisted pairs that will be your brown and white, etc., etc. And the reason I kept them next to each other is so that you don't lose which one's white and which one's for which color. Now we're gonna need our diagram again. So we're gonna to need to line them up in the order it says here. So it's to go orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So, when we're looking at the cable, we start with the orange white, which is this one. So we twist the cable around and we get that into the first position. So that's where we want the first one to go. We then put the solid orange next to it. Now this bit can get a little bit fiddly, so it takes a bit of time. So just have to line them up. You then need to go green white, which is now under my thumb. So green white is here, let me bring that one over and again, line them up. Now you've got to keep, make sure you keep them in position. We're going to straighten all these up in a minute anyway. We then need solid blue, which is this one. So solid blue will come up and go next to, so I'll twist it from around that one. There we go, spare. Just 
it goes there. And then we need, oops, the white blue. If I can get them in between them, there we go. And then I need the solid green. I should bring that one over up here. I need the white brown and the brown. Now, at the moment, they're not gonna fit into this yet because they're too wide, because you have to slide them in. So what we need to do is basically just straighten them out, flatten them out. We are gonna cut these all to the same length, which is vitally important. I wish you can't get them into the actual the connection themselves. And the key thing about this is you can't rush it. You've got to take your time, otherwise when you test it, it will go horribly wrong. And you have to start again. So now I've got them all lined up, almost. It is quite a fiddly thing to do, getting them all lined up. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do is quickly straighten off those ends. So I'm gonna put them into the cut up and straighten them all off. So now I've got them in order and all nice and straight. So what I have to do then is slot. Now I have to make sure that the clip is facing away from me. Because you see the little clip? That's the bit that clips in. I have to face that away from me. I then find a section and you'll see inside there's like slots where the cables have to go in. So as I slot it in, I have to try as best as possible to get it to slot into the right holes. Now, as you can see, the brown's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I have to pull that one out and find out why that's not happening. But again, it's a slow process. You have to take your time. You can't rush it. If you rush it, the cable won't work. If we push them in. Now, as you can see at the end, you should be able to start to see the silver, like the actual copper cables piping at the end. Now, at the moment, the blue one isn't playing ball. So we'll just keep wiggling it around. The blue one I don't think is in enough, so I have to pop it back out. I'll find out why the blue is not going in. So, now I've pushed them all in. Now you'll see at the end that you should be able to see, if I get it in focus, all the little copper ends. That's the main aim. As long as you can see the copper ends, when I put it in the crimper, these gold pins will cut into them and that'll make your connection. So I take my crimping tool. So this is an RJ45 crimping tool. I have to slot the cable into the part and then gently crimp them down till it clicks. So what it does, it crimps the cable in to hold it tight. So this little plastic bit's popped in. But what it's also done is it's pushed, it's difficult to see, it's pushed the gold connections into the cables. So now that won't come off. That's solid on the end of the cable. Now, what you would do is you would then do it on the other end. But for time's sake, I have one that I prepared earlier. So this is a cable that I've built myself. So this is one of the ends. So that's the back of the cable. So that sits straight through. Then this one, so they come together like this. The aim is also trying to get as much of the white into there as well, so you can protect the cables. Now what we're gonna do is test it, because that's the main thing you have to do when you get a cable. Now this is our cable tester. So I switched it on. So what it will say, it's blinking. So it's waiting for a cable to go in. So I plug one end in there. I plug the other end in there. And what you're hoping for is like this. So as you can see, the line should match up for a straight through cable. So what I can do is I can, so then I can click through each cable. So each cable should match up. And there's eight cables in this all together. There is no ground. So you've got cable one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now what you don't want to happen is that they're out of order. If they become out of order, then the straight through cable is not going to work. So the test is really, really important. So that is basically how you build an RJ45 uh, cable, um, Ethernet cable that you can use. And this one, as you can see, is very short, normally used for patching up switches inside server racks. So hope you enjoyed the video um, and hopefully We'll see you at Carter's Institute. Thank you very much.